Okay, class, this is um, Unit 7, Section 5, Second Part, and we're going to start talking about difference of two squares. Okay, so when we talked about perfect squares, you started with the trinomial. On this one, you're going to start with a binomial. So here's an example of a difference of two squares. When we have a squared minus b squared, okay? So if we were to factor this out, we would get a plus b and a minus b. All right, so let's foil it and make sure that these are equivalent. Okay, so a times a is a squared. A times a negative b is negative ab. b times a is a positive ab. b times a negative b is a negative b squared. Okay, so let's go ahead and put our coefficient 1 right here, so that you know that these cancel out. Negative 1AB and a positive 1AB are opposites, therefore they cancel out. So what's left here is A squared minus B squared, which is what we started with. So this is an example of difference of two squares. You'll start with a binomial. Alrighty, so let's practice this. Okay, so do we have our first term? Is it a perfect square? Yes. Is our second term? So there's A. Is our second term a perfect square? Yes. So there's our B. Okay. This is negative. So my answer should be X minus 10. Whoops x minus 10, these are where they cancel out, so it should be x minus 10, x plus 10. Okay, so when I factor that, this should be my answer, but let's double check and foil it. So we have x squared, positive 10x, negative 10x, Then we have negative 100. These cancel out, so I have x squared minus 100, and that's what we started with. So when I factor this difference of squares, right here's my answer, okay? All right, so let's look at 8 over here. So for A, I have 100 x squared. Is that a perfect square? Yep, yeah. 10x. For B, I have 4y squared. Is that a perfect square? 2y. So here's my A, and here's my B. All right, so we start with the binomial. We have two perfect squares. That is a negative. Therefore, I can use this formula. So I have 10x minus 2y, and then I have 10x plus 2y. There's my answer. And let's not forget to foil it to make sure. So I have 10x times 10x. I have 10x times 2y, positive 2y. So what is that? 20xy. Then I have negative 2y times 10x. And then I have a negative 2 times a positive 2y. These cancel out, so I end up with 10x squared minus 4y squared, which is what we started with. Okay. X to the fourth, is that a perfect square? Well guys, if you can't see that, factor it out. In order for it to be a perfect square, you need a product of the same, okay? So I can take x squared times x squared to get x to the fourth. So it is a perfect square. And there's my a. And then for 25 y to the sixth, if you can't see it, factor it out. Five times five. And then I have 6y's, so there's 3 and 3, so it is a perfect square, 
5 y cubed, and there's my b. Okay, started with the binomial. I have perfect squares, and I have subtraction. So, my a is x squared. My b is 5 y cubed. Let's factor this out. Excuse me, let's foil it. So I have x squared times x squared. x squared times 5 y cubed. Negative 5 x squared y cubed. Negative 25 y to the 6. These cancel out, so I end up with x to the 4th minus 25 y to the 6, which is what I started with. Okay? All right. Let's see if these are perfect squares. That's what we need to check first. So for 16, 4 times 4 for x squared x. So there's my a. For 4y to the 5th, well, for 4 as a perfect square, I get 2. But what about y to the 5th? That's not a perfect square. You can't factor this with difference of perfect squares. All right, class, one more. Look at 11 here. Is 3 a perfect square? It is not. So you can immediately stop and say you cannot factor this because it is not a perfect square. Alrighty, that's it for 7-5. Have a good evening.